The Florida cave shrimp is endemic to a single flooded solutional cave in Alachua County in Florida. It has second pariapods noticeably longer than the first. It is almost colorless and has a long, serrated rostrum, and no eye pigment. It is the only cave shrimp to live in Florida. It has only ever been found at a single site, and has not been seen there since 1973. It is listed as a critically endangered species. Other caves may exist in the area with undiscovered populations, but urban development around in Florida and the introduction to the caves of the red-eye chub, both threaten its survival, and the species may already be extinct. While the island's natives often used iguanas as food and funerary offerings in pre-colonial times, man's largest scale devastation to these animals was as a result of clear-cutting forests to create plantations as well as the introduction of non-native species. Introduced black rats, raccoons, feral dogs and cats have taken their toll on the population by direct predation, as have the larvae of a moth, introduced decades ago to the Caribbean, which are rapidly devastating prickly pear cacti, an important food source for the iguanas. Other threats by humans include tourists trampling iguanas' nests, iguanas contracting disease from eating human garbage, and illicit smuggling for the pet trade. As development increases on the islands and further isolates populations, these animals will be threatened by lack of gene flow between the caves. The Exuma Island iguana utilizes a variety of habitats from sandy beaches and xeric limestone devoid of vegetation to Bahamian dry forests. The iguanas use limestone crevices or sand burrows for retreats at night in an adverse weather conditions. Adult iguanas have been observed basking in large groups without showing any signs of aggression toward one another. Carey hypothesizes that this lack of a social structure allows the population to remain dense under conditions of limited resources because hierarchical social systems on small caves retard genetic variation by restricting prime nesting sites, food supplies, and retreats to a few dominant males. As with other rock iguanas, their habitat is in rapid decline due to development for tourism. In 2004 a large-scale fire possibly caused by a tourist cigarette was reported on an iguana-inhabited island. Like other members of the genus Cyclura, Barch's iguana males of this species have larger femoral pores on their thighs, which are used to release pheromones. Females have smaller pores, making the animals sexually dimorphic. It is estimated that 1,000 of these iguanas live on this small K and their population appears to be stable, despite the small number. It has been noted that, Australian pine, trees introduced by man to the K may pose a problem as the needles are inedible and their tall size prevents native plants, which the iguanas rely on for food, from growing. Since it was not recognized as a distinct species for so long, the Bahama Orioles' preferred non-breeding season habitat is unknown and current estimates of its exact numbers remain vague. The future of the Bahama Oriole remains tenuous. The bigger threats, however, are continued habitat loss from human development, introduced predators and stochastic processes that, because of the Orioles' small population size, increase the risk of extinction. It is also important to conserve the pine forests because it is known that they serve as important habitats for Orioles. Mictacaris is rarely encountered because it lives only in deep waters in the interior sections of the caves. It avoids sunlight and remains in isolated parts of the cave. It is usually seen swimming, but on rare occasions can be found resting or walking on a rock. IT is critically endangered due to population fragmentation, a decline in subpopulations, and only inhabiting a single location. The population is only extant in five locations, some of which are likely experiencing habitat destruction.
At one time numerous, the Turks and Caicos rock iguanas have been depleted by introduced predators, mainly cats and dogs. Their habitat is being degraded by overgrazing and trampling of vegetation which reduces the availability of food for the iguanas. They have been wiped out of some islands and cling on precariously in others. It is primarily herbivorous, consuming leaves, flowers, and fruits from over 58 different plant species. Habitat destruction is the main factor threatening the future of the Lesser Cayman's iguana. The iguanas nest in the sand of beaches that are a prime real estate location on Little Cayman. Predation and injury to hatchlings by rats, to hatchlings and sub-adults by semi-domestic and feral cats, and killing of adults by roaming dogs are all placing severe pressure on the remaining wild population on both islands. Sister island iguanas are all too frequently killed by vehicles. Cuban kite feeds on colored tree snails and slugs, which it finds in the forest undergrowth, for which its deeply hooked bill is thought to be adapted for. Forest destruction and degradation is the leading cause of population decline, as well as the reduction in prey snail numbers and persecution by local farmers. Its apparently tame nature makes it an easy target for shooters. The Jamaican iguana is a large heavy-bodied lizard primarily green to salty blue in color with darker olive-green coloration on the shoulders. The single direct cause for the Jamaican iguana's decline can be attributed to the introduction of the small Asian mongoose as a form of snake control. The mongoose came to rely upon hatchling iguanas as a prime source of food, prompting the creation of the Head Start facility and a proposed program to eradicate the feral mongoose. The Jamaican poorwill is a species of nightjar in the family Caprimulgidae. It is endemic to Jamaica. Its natural habitats are tropical dry forests and subtropical or tropical dry shrubland. It is critically endangered or possibly already extinct due to a combination of introduced predators and habitat destruction. The Jamaican greater funnel-eared bat is a species of funnel-eared bat found in Jamaica. It is of a similar appearance to many species of the genus Natalis. It lives solely in St. Clair Cave in Jamaica and feeds on insects. Its extent of occurrence is less than 100 square kilometers, all individuals are in a single location, and there is continuing decline in the extent and quality of its habitat. There is also a population of feral cats that live in the cave where these bats are found, likely feeding on bats. Puerto Rican wetland frog is an endangered species of koki, a frog species, endemic to Puerto Rico. It was discovered in 2005 and it is only found in the old naval base of Sabana Seca in Toa Baja. It is characterized by a high frequency, chip-like sound, a light brown skin color, and a strip between the eyes. It is the smallest species of koki. The Department of Natural Resources of Puerto Rico added this species to the endangered species list, and designated its critical habitat likewise. The Antiguan racer is harmless to humans and has a gentle temperament. 
It is diurnal, being active from dawn to dusk. At night, it rests in a hidden shelter. The Antiguan racer appears to have poor resistance to common snake mites, which are not naturally found in Antigua, which has ended some attempts at captive breeding. The racer primarily eats a diet of lizards, including the local Antiguan ground lizard. While the species sometimes hunts for its food, it is typically an ambush predator, waiting for prey with most of its body buried beneath leaves. In the centuries before the Europeans arrived in Antigua, the Antiguan racers were numerous and widespread. The thick forest that covered the islands teemed with lizards, the snakes favored prey, and the racer had no natural predators to threaten it. It was recently threatened by hurricanes and now by deliberate killing by humans, flooding, drought, and inbreeding due to low genetic diversity. The harbor porpoise is one of seven species of porpoise. It is one of the smallest marine mammals. As its name implies, it stays close to coastal areas or river estuaries, and as such, is the most familiar porpoise to whale watchers. This porpoise often ventures up rivers, and has been seen hundreds of miles from the sea. They tend to be solitary foragers, but they do sometimes hunt in packs and herd fish together. Megalogrian leptodemas is a species of damselfly in the family Coenagrionidae that is endemic to the island of Oahu in Hawaii. It inhabits rivers and it is threatened by habitat loss. It is currently labeled as critically endangered. Fossil evidence reveals that Laysan ducks once lived across the entire archipelago, but today survive only on Laysan Island and two atolls. The duck has several physical and behavioral traits linked to the absence of ground-based predators in its habitat. By 1860, the ducks had disappeared from everywhere except Laysan Island. The introduction of rabbits brought the bird to the brink of extinction in 1912 with 12 surviving individuals. Rabbits were eradicated from the island in 1923 and numbers of Laysan ducks began to rise, reaching 500 by the 1950s.